Okay, go. You're already rolling, aren't you? It is 65 degrees January the 17th today. Um, we've been on a, a, a regular normal pattern for winter. Now we're back into a, a spring temp. Uh, you look at the extended, they're calling for snow in about eight, 10 days. We, we don't know here in Arkansas. I do know that this, this hive had been light on reserves. I'm going to go ahead since we're 65, the wind's kind of moderate today. It's, it's not just super, it's in gust. I'm gonna break them off, but I'm gonna try to show you the way that I do this is so that I'm not exposing the constant you know the brood i feel like they're going to be up here in the uh, upper medium um so we're going to do two things we're going to feed them we're going to do a little little small inspection on them so stay with me and uh let's roll that beautiful bee footage i'm not 100 percent sure why my camera operators kind of grinning at me I, i'm not i don't know what that means well as soon as you said the wind's not moderate we had a big gust uh, gotcha maybe the wind is moderate well all right inner board you can tell these bees Corinne, if you would if you'll get right here you can tell that i've got the population of bees right here in the top i removed two or three that were dead. I can't tell it with these gloves on, but I know we got some heat coming up out of here. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna break this box and set it across the cover. Give that a little twist. Yep, they're light. Now, down in the bottom what should we expect to see in the bottom box this time of year okay three frames with bees I can tell by looking we've got slim to none honey reserve on these outer frames which makes sense There's the one they've never quite got finished. I didn't bring my frame perch out. Corinne's got her hands full. Now let's just see if these bees are actively cleaning or if they have something down in here. And they've got something wet in there. All right, so it looks like some pollen and honey in those cells. This side's the same. Pollen and honey. We, here in Arkansas, we already have pollen coming in. Natural and the crude that I'm feeding them, I've noticed they, they're coming in with a light gray to a green, but this is all pollen, wet pollen that they're in. So these bees are down here either getting pollen or just feeding on bee bread, which is what you're gonna hear that referred to a lot. So I'm fixing to pull the last of the three frames that are occupied in the bottom. There's a bee that came in with an off color pollen. Here, you see where the bees are, that's where they got something going. So they probably had all of this in pollen, bee bread, and now they're they're feeding out of it, which I'm sure they're transferring upstairs as well. Next frame, just they're in it, cleaning it. It's the same scenario as this one. They're using this up. They're utilizing sources. There's one. Some Is it an on off, off color? That's yellow. That could be the. pollen that I'm giving them. 
Okay, they don't, these, these aren't super grumpy today, so that's good. Temperature must be conducive to their happiness. Clean off your propolis and your wax when you get the opportunities. I'm just gonna make it easy to bring you down the road. Okay, now we wanna go ahead and get them to clear these bots. Here's dead bees that have died that the other bees have not hauled out. That J hook work. Okay. All right, let's put them back together. I can tell the honey weight is on the right side of this super. Don't scrape, just FYI, don't scrape your outer box edges any more than you feel like you have to, so that when you restack these boxes, the weight up here will reseal that, that propolis and wax that's on those edges. Gonna give them a little smoke down in there. Gonna break this and we're gonna get an idea of where their cluster's at. Right against the feeder. These bees look good, they're healthy. Okay. Let's do what we intended to do. Then we'll we'll sneak over here and do do a little do a little bit of looking. Had our syrup in the in the shop, so it's not super duper cold. Bees are booing. Look at them going to it. Bees to it. are booing. They're gonna, they're gonna float up and get on an edge. They're wax coated. They'll, they'll grab and. And that's a thin feeder. It's only what? It's roughly an inch, inch. wide. No. I mean, there are some that are three inches, and and they may have a harder time getting to the edge with it. Okay, so let's just pull this and block those and come over here and we'll work into I see some honey right there on number two well it felt like this this super was heaviest on the right side so that's probably where their stores are at oh yeah not completely empty. There's no honey on the outer outer comb. If you know the next frame that I see, doesn't look like it has honey. And if it doesn't, we'll move it on the outer edge. Is that the one there? That's the one they're uncapping. that one completely dry hmm. the next the frame next to it is completely dry on this side 
you know, we, we filled their feeder up and we can leave well enough alone and let them transfer. That's where you really need that frame perch. So you don't make one of these mistakes like John's pretty prone to do. And there is some honey we've got uncapped. And this side, they have just about cleared that frame. Now we're not seeing any brood. Would that be on closer to the feeder? We're not seeing brood and let's just, you know, we're in this already this far and folks, their bees are calm and it's not terrible out here. Let's go ahead and let's first look, make sure that queen didn't get on that. Okay, she's not. Not uncommon to see zero brood this time of year but I think she should be carrying and there it is oh, there's some. there's her replacement bees as bees die off during the winter Here's where they're, they're getting their honey and carrying it over. And the much larger patch of brood. Yeah. Um, I don't want to just hold these out forever. You mean just... No, I'm actually going to pull it. Let's okay. just pop it up, look at it, and leave it where it's at. She, what I can tell is I think she's got a pretty good <laughs> brood on this frame. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got, in fact, there she went. See her on the bottom? Do I? She's on my side. See her coming up the hill here? Right there. Oh, yeah. All right, so she's got actually quite a lot of. Mm -hmm. Is it on the next frame, too? Uh, no. So she's got, where'd she go? Under. Here she is. Oh yeah, now she's kind of shy. Back under. She ain't digging this. <laughs> All right, let's get yep. her squared back away. There you go, Mama. You back down there where you're supposed to be. I am gonna smell just like cotton fibers. <laughs> okay, this is that deal. Do you help them? Do you not? Do you just kind of... Normally, I would not have even done this or went this far. But I think that for January the 17th, that it's a great thing for the new newbies to take a look at and understand what these bees are doing in this box this time of year. And remember, next year, they may be snow on the ground. You won't get in them January 17th. They could be at this point still or they could be very little brood, but but feed source right now and pollen, super important to these bees. You see I'm bringing them in, you see she's carrying a medium frame, brood on both sides and a little dab on another. So she's keeping an extra, let's just call it 2000 bees coming on. And as they hatch, they're gonna need more honey and And, and as pollen. they hatch, they will go burn through these stores. So Corinne is absolutely right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back just like they had it with the and leave the feeder. And I think when they get that feeder warmed up in the temperatures of tomorrow, we got storms tomorrow. Highs up around 70. They won't get out much, but they'll have by then that feed that syrup will be warmer that pro sweet will be ready for them to consume but that's that's good that they look good 
all is well the wind gave us a break right then when we had the brood out we saw the queen so all we're really worrying about is uh, keeping them fed so we don't run out of stores and And I've become intrigued by the bees. I, lo I lost everything I was going to tell you. <laughs> Pollen and feed over winter. We just checked this hive. We did an inspection, short, quick inspection. That might have been a little longer than it would have been. But it is 65 degrees. But it is 65 degrees. We're not we're not going to sweat the small stuff. And it's not going to get cold tonight. Tonight lows in the 50s, I think. We actually warmed up all last night. So that was a quick inspection without a lot of disturbance to this hive of bees. We went ahead and gave them some, some much needed feed. Yes, they had the equivalent of about two frames of honey left. What happens, we can't get in here, all that brood hatches. They kind of go off our radar. They'll eat that up. They can eat, they can eat that up in two weeks and be all dead in the bottom, starved to death. So the importance of having that that insurance policy, that extra layer of feed doesn't hurt a thing. So there's a there's a January 17th, 2023 hive inspections. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button until we see you again. Roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.